Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Today I'm going to review a soft motor mount and frame protector system for the Diatone GT2 Crusader. I think it's pretty much decided now that soft mounting motors on your mini quad is definitely worth doing. Joshua Barbwell did a great job busting the myth that it was just a fashionable fad and you need to check out his great video which I've linked in the description below. And I've always thought that it made sense simply because the motors are the source of all the vibrations. So fixing it where they are mounted can't do anything but help. But just putting a soft motor mount between the motor and the frame to isolate them has a problem. The bolts are still in direct contact with the frame and you have to make sure that they aren't too tight or the mounts won't make any difference. This soft mount set for the Diatone GT2 uses a subtle improvement on the standard approach that overcomes this. These soft mounts are available from X-Copters and they make a great job of isolating the bolt and the motors from the frame. There's a top and a bottom soft mount. They're 3D printed in TPU and they also act as a frame protector to keep the edges of your frame looking nice and fresh and not all scuffed up. They basically use the soft mount between the motor and the frame which is this top piece and there's a bottom soft mount that actually insulates the bolt from the frame as well and the way that works is with a washer that sits on there so I'll, let me just put this together and I'll show you how this works. So here's my GT2. I did have to give it a bit of a clean. There we go. So this kit comes with these four top soft mounts, the four bottom soft mounts, and hopefully 16 sets of new longer bolts and washers. The reason they need to be longer is because um, the motor is going to be mounted further up and we need a longer bolt to actually reach into the body of the motor. Uh, these fit on there like that, they fit very nicely and this acts as the top soft mount for the motor and then the second soft mount goes on the bottom and the important thing is there's a washer that sits here with the longer bolt. Let me just tighten that in by hand to start with. Oops, let's get the right size. So it's here, it's a very subtle difference between the normal soft mounts that you get. So the motor is insulated from the frame by this top mount which is also the frame protector but normally the bolt would go straight through and be touching the frame. But in fact because that is also soft mounted it means that the whole thing is soft mounted. Obviously there might be a bit of contact between this bolt and the frame and I guess if you wanted to you could drill out those holes a little bit. Um, but the important thing is that when you put these on you do need to put some thread lock on. So let me go ahead and do that for all of these. So the way I like to do this is um, that fits on there and acts as your frame protector. It fits very nicely on the frame. I find the best way to do this is to actually apply the thread lock <coughs> to the motor with a stick, just a little bit in there, in there, in there. In there, then that sits down on there. Then you've got the bottom soft mount that sits on here, 
and that mounts with the new longer bolts and these longer bolts are needed because the thickness of the washer, the bottom mount and this top mount uh, move the motor away from the frame. There we go, just nip those up and you need to allow a couple of hours for the thread lock to go off ideally and you can see here that the important part is the washer that sits there because that is basically spreading the load of the bolt onto this bottom soft mount. So there we go and it actually looks pretty good as well I have to say. Okay let's get these other ones done. And just as a quick check, <clears throat> let's take a look here. So these are the standard bolts that came off the motor mounting bolts. And they are 8mm. And these new supplied bolts are 12mm. And if we just check what we've got here, the combined thickness of these two mounts and the washer is just a hair under four millimeters so these new bolts being four millimeters longer than the standard ones is seems to be about right but when you put these on just check that when you put the bolts in they're not touching any of the windings in the bottom okay let's get these other three on So there we go, those are all on, looks very good. And as usual, just make sure that all the bolts are tight but not too tight. And as I said, make sure that you give the thread lock a bit of time to go off. Um, this one I'm using here, the thread lock GP Blue, it's about two hours to be fully hard. And as a precaution always, when you've flown, just check the tightness of these and none of them has come loose. So there we go, a nice way of soft mounting your motors and uh, protecting the edge of your frame at the same time. I think they look pretty good. And I did weigh all these beforehand in case you're wondering. Um, it's about 12 grams for the weight of all four top mounts and bottom mounts and the washers bolts obviously you would have those in anyway so you're adding about 12 or 13 grams to the weight of your quad which isn't uh, which isn't ridiculous I found these really helped reduce that final bit of prop wash oscillation I was getting particularly on flat vertical drops and although I haven't seen one in the wild yet the new 2017 GT2 model seems to use something similar to isolate the motors as soon as I get my hands on one I'll let you know 
I'll leave links in the description where you can buy this kit and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and I'll do my very best to try and answer them and I'll see you next time